Hello everyone and welcome to the Kukuli Bushcraft channel. Okay, so this has been my project for the day. Uh, actually it's taken me more than a day but I've done a good bit of the work today. And it's an old axe head that I got on the internet for 10 euros and it's a grand source. Of course, to make an axe handle, it's really handy to have an axe. And I've never really worked with hickory before. The axe handles I've made in Finland have all been birch, and the axe handles that I've made in the UK have mostly been ash. Uh, I actually found it quite difficult, quite splitty. also helps to have a shaving horse but that's not not essential here I'm using the spoke shave but here I'm using the draw knife this is actually a different axe handle uh, but it's the only footage I have of me using the draw knife and of course you could do all of the work just with an axe and a straightforward knife. I've done all of this so far by hand. Uh, while I've got this on the go, I actually might take a little bit off with the grinder. So these flat discs, they work good for wood. Uh, they work great. Uh, Reprofiling axe heads and not fine sharpening. I mean, you can get it pretty fine, but it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the issues I've got here is well, there's quite a a chunk missing out of the bottom of this. Uh, I'm not sure as if I mean this looks like a small forest axe. I can't see any initials on there I can just about make out it says Grants for Sprooks but you know very often these things become clearer as the rust starts to disappear of course it's a little bit more complicated to remove the rust from the inside of the eye you'll need files, wire brushes and whatever you can get in there And quite a bit of care is required for shaping the part of the handle that is going into the eye. It needs to be a nice tight fit and it needs to go on straight. It would be very nice to have an actual bench vise for sawing the curve. So the curve, the slot that the axe wedge is going to go into. The wedge itself should be made out of a hardwood, uh, in the past I've used oak, in this case I've used an offcut of the hickory from the axe handle itself, with just a spot of wood glue. To finish off, just one of these little ring wedges, just to make it a little bit more secure. Okay, so here we are in the Kukuli bathroom 
where I like to store wood and dry camping equipment. <laughs> yeah, so here we are, nearly finished. So I've put a little bit of oil around the eye uh, just to help it to swell up as much as possible in there, fill any gaps. Uh, that'll be sanded down and cleaned up later. And there's a little bit more sanding to do on the handle. And I need to do some work on that edge. I will be testing this axe out on film when it's 100% completed. And also I'll probably do a video of making an axe mask for it. So stay tuned. There's still work to do. This handle is really rough. I mean, particularly around the thorn's foot. Uh, a little bit of sanding and shaping. Uh, the uh, I've actually got it fairly sharp, but I'm not going to get it properly sharp until I've played with it a little bit and see that the edge geometry is uh, is good enough. It looks a little bit uneven. Uh, but yeah, I'll use it a couple of times before I put the final finished edge on it. And obviously it needs some oil. But yeah, so far fairly pleased with it. Well, thank you very much for watching everyone. Please drop us a comment, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you all again soon for another Googly Bushcraft video. Bye for now.